வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் வீடியோ ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் பின் லுக்கிங் அட் த ஷோல்டர் ஜாயிண்ட் அண்ட் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி வி வர் சால்விங் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டாட்டிக்ஸ் இன்வால்விங் ஷோல்டர் ஜாயிண்ட் ஸோ வி வில் கண்டினியூ வித் ஒன் மோர் ப்ராப்ளம் ஆன் பயோமெக்கானிக்கல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஆஃப் தி ஷோல்டர் ஜாயிண்ட் ஆர் ஸ்பெசிஃபிகலி ஸ்டாட்டிக் ப்ராப்ளம் இன்வால்விங் த ஷோல்டர் ஜாயிண்ட் here is the problem the figure shows an outstretched arm of length 0.61 meters so the total length is 0.61 meters that is parallel to the floor that is horizontal the arm is pulling downward the pulley system okay in order to hold the 98 newton weight in stationary position 98 newton weight stationary it is pulling this down okay to pull the arm downward the latissimus dorsi muscle applies force as shown in the figure it is applying a force like this at a point that is 0.069 meters from the shoulder joint and at an angle of 29 degrees to the horizontal the whole arm has a weight of 47 newtons and a, and its center of gravity is at 0.28 meters from the shoulder joint question is what is the force produced by the latissimus dorsi muscle so this latissimus dorsi is this muscle that is on the back right so when people do pull ups when you do pull up you are essentially engaging the latissimus dorsi or when you are pulling something there is also this exercise machine called lat pull downs so there will be a bar which you pull down and that is that is actually overcoming some weight that is on the other side of the machine right lat pull downs pull ups these are frequently used to strengthen the latissimus dorsi muscle it is used to pull down a weight or pull the body weight up that is the pull up exercise against some uh, you know rigid body right we do this exercise that is the situation let us uh, try to draw the free body diagram this is the shoulder joint i am going to call this point o and at a distance of uh, i think let's call that point is where the muscle is acting that angle is 29 degrees okay its value is uh, unknown m and that distance is 0.069 okay and at a distance of uh, Zero point two eight meters. The mass is forty uh, seven newtons. Okay. And the external load itself is acting here. at a distance of uh, 0.61 meters 61 meters the force is 98 newtons are there any other forces or distances that we will have to mark there are only these three that is the mass of the entire arm there is the external load and there is the force that is produced by the muscle these are all the forces that are there okay now because the shoulder can rotate it will have no moment component in the reactions and because it cannot accelerate along 
this x y axis that we will be using it cannot accelerate horizontally nor can it accelerate vertically because it cannot accelerate horizontally or vertically it will have reaction forces at uh, acting at o o x and o y the question asks us to find only the value of the muscle force m not the reaction forces we will get started with that and it seems like i can solve for this uh, muscle force simply by writing out the moment equation let us write out the equations of static equilibrium those are sigma fx equal to 0 sigma foy equal to 0 and sigma m is equal to 0 okay okay sigma fx this is considered positive this is considered positive the moment counter clockwise is considered positive okay Let us write out the moment equation. Let us expand this. What are all the various forces that will cause a moment? Before that, let us analyze the muscle force alone. The muscle force is the force that is inclined at some non zero or non 90 degree angle, some inclination that is not 0 or 90. Okay. So, the distance is uh, 0 0.069. This angle is uh, 29 degrees. So, for that x y axis, this will have you know a negative y component and a negative x component. Okay. So, that would be a, so in other words, this will be the direction of the forces that are involved. But in this x y axis, this will be minus f m cos 29 and uh, minus fm sin 29 this will be the fmx and fmy components for that for this xy axis that we are looking at okay anyhow um, let us write out that equation sigma mo equal to 0 and expand it, you will find that this is minus fm sin 29 because only the vertical component of this muscle force will cause a moment, not the horizontal component because horizontal component will act along o. Okay. So, that will that would be this right that will cause a clockwise moment because of that reason it will be a negative moment because we said counterclockwise is considered positive. So, minus fm sin 29 times 0 0.069 that is the moment that is caused by this vertical component right minus anything else of course, there is the 47 Newton minus 47 times uh, that distance is 0 0.28 and that will also cause a that will also cause a clockwise moment is it not this will cause that kind of a moment plus 0 0.98 times 0 0.61 why plus because this load is pulling the arm up like this remember because there is a pulley here is where the action of the pulley is act, uh, here is where the action of the weight is downward but for that person because there is a pulley and rope involved right for this person he will be feeling the load here like this upwards positive x axis positive y axis right so that force will cause a counter clockwise moment 
like this because about this pivot O it will cause a counter clockwise moment all right. Any other forces that are there that we have to look at there are no other forces and the whole thing is 0. This is one equation in one variable simplify this if you simplify this you find the value of fm to be 1393.64 newtons. Of course, uh, you know you have to use your scientific calculator to do this, but you find this to be a very large number. Uh, Let us look at the load that will have to be overcome that is 98 newtons. The muscle force is about 14 times as much right 1394 newtons. So, it is a lot of newtons. Why is this happening? Again the point at which the muscle force is acting is rather inconvenient and the angle at which it is acting is also inconvenient. In some cases one of these will be inconvenient the other will be okay. In some other cases you know like this one both of them are leading to a situation in which the muscle force will have to be very large okay. and this muscle is capable of producing that much force important to note that it is not that just because the muscle is producing a large amount of force that is bad. This muscle is capable of producing thousands of newtons of force. Okay. Now, we still have to solve for sigma f x equal to 0 if we have to find O x right. You find immediately O x minus f m cos 29 is 0 okay. This is the sigma f x equal to 0. there is no other force in the x direction. There is no other force in the x direction just the x component of fm and ox these are the only two that means that ox is fm cos 29 and we know fm to be 1393.64 newtons. So, if you do that you get the value of ox as 1218.91905 newtons this is the value of ox. And then if I am interested in finding the reaction force O y right I write out sigma f y equal to 0. So, that would be O y minus f m sin 29 minus 47 plus 98 right that is the force felt at the pulley 98 the whole thing is 0. So, after because I know f m to be 1393.64 newtons substitute for that and simplify you will find the value of O y to be 624.65 newtons. Now, compared with the last problem, this problem appears to be slightly simple because the forces are given unlike masses and the corresponding uh, distances at which these are acting or the center of masses being given then you will have to multiply the mass by 9.81 to get the weight or the force and let it act at the corresponding center of mass which is why this problem is slightly simpler the principles are still the same. So, with this we come to the end of this uh, video on uh, simple problems in statics analyzing the shoulder joint. Thank you very much for your attention.